In this video, we're going to learn about quadrilaterals, the concept of congruence, parallelograms, supplementary angles, and complementary angles. So without further ado, let us dive right into it. We've already learned about what a polygon is, but a polygon with specifically four sides, or shall I say, four vertices, is called a quadrilateral. Now, interestingly enough, some quadrilaterals can be more specifically referred to as parallelograms. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral that has parallel opposite sides, which are equal in length. Not only are the opposite sides equal in length, but the angles that are diagonally across from each other are also equal. This idea of having equal sides and equal angles can be said in a more mathematical way by using the word congruent. Congruent basically means the exact same. So, we could instead say that a parallelogram has opposite sides that are congruent in length and angles diagonally across each other that are congruent as well. Now, not only is a rectangle a parallelogram, but if these two sides were slanted like so, this would still be considered a parallelogram since, like we mentioned, its opposite sides are equal in length as well as opposite angles being equal. Awesome. Now before we finish off this video, let's go over the concept of supplementary and complementary angles. Supplementary angles add up to always equal 180 degrees. So, in this example, angle A is 67 degrees, while angle B is 113 degrees. Since these two angles add up to be 180 degrees, we can say that these two angles are in fact supplementary angles. In light of this idea, complementary angles always add up to be 90 degrees instead. So in this case, if we had two angles here as 45 degrees each, then they would be considered complementary angles since they add up to be 90 degrees. As well in this example, an 88 degree angle along with a 2 degree angle would also be complementary angles, since again, they add up to be 90 degrees. Great. So that's the end of this lesson. If you wish to learn a bit more on the concept of supplementary and complementary angles, we encourage you to watch our video on adjacent angles, supplementary angles, opposite angles, and complementary angles here on Nerd Study. Otherwise, remember to keep trying some more practice problems and we will catch you in the next lesson.